What's up, you freaking geniuses? So, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to find the prime factors of a number using the ladder method, okay? And something you need to understand before watching this video is the difference between prime and composite numbers. So, if you need to brush up on that real quick, I'll link a video to that in the card above. But if you're good, let's just move on. Okay, so this is how the ladder method works. You're going to be asked to perform the prime factorization on some number. So that number is always going to be a composite number. So this is always the number we start with. So when you're given this number, all you're going to do is draw a step on it. Okay? And then you're going to ask yourself, self, what's the smallest prime number that will fit into this composite number evenly? Okay, and just as a reminder, here's a list of the smallest prime numbers. 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, and we could keep going, right? But I'll just stop there. So you're going to figure out from this list of prime numbers, what's the smallest one that fits inside of this composite number? Once you figure that out, you're going to write your prime number right here on the outside of the step, right here next to it. And you're going to circle it, okay? So then at this point, all you're going to figure out is how many times does this prime number fit into this composite number? So you'll figure that out and you'll write your answer or your number right here on top. Now, if your answer, if it's prime, you're going to circle it and we're done. But if this number up here is composite, then we're going to repeat our step that we did down here. So we would draw our step on it again, and we would figure out what's the smallest prime number that we can fit into this composite number. And then we just keep repeating this process until we finally have a prime number on top. Okay, so I know that could have sounded a little confusing, so let me do a couple examples and show you how this is actually a pretty easy method. Okay, so let's say we were asked to find the prime factors of 36. Okay, so this is our composite number, right? So all we're going to do is draw a step on it. Now you're going to ask yourself, self, what is the smallest prime number that we can fit into 36 evenly? Or what's the smallest prime number that divides evenly into 36? And remember, these are our prime numbers, right? So out of all of these, the smallest one that will fit into 36 is 2. Because 36 is an even number, and 2 obviously fits into all even numbers. So, we're going to put a 2 out here. That's the smallest prime number that fits into 36 evenly. And remember, when we have a prime number, we're going to circle it. Okay, now, how many times does 2 fit into 36 evenly? That would be 18 times. Okay, and remember, we're going to write our answer on top right here. 18. So is 18 prime or composite? Well, 18 is a composite number. So since it's a composite number, we're going to draw a step on it. And then again, you're going to ask yourself, self, what's the smallest prime number that divides evenly into 18? Well, from our list right here, the smallest prime number that divides evenly into 18 will again be 2. So we're going to write a 2 right here, and we're going to circle it. Okay, so how many times does the number 2 fit evenly into 18? Well, that would be 9, okay? Now, is 9 a prime or composite number? 9 is a composite number. So again, we're going to draw a step on it. And then you're going to ask yourself, self, what's the smallest prime number that divides evenly into 9. Well, 9 is an odd number, right? So 2 is not going to work in this situation. But does 3 fit into 9? Yes, it does. 3 fits into 9 evenly. How many times does 3 fit into 9? 3 times. Okay, now, is 3 a prime or composite number? 3 is a prime number. So, that means we're done. So what are the prime factors? There are all these numbers we circled out here. 2, 2, 3, and 3. Okay, so we found our prime factors. What are we going to do with them? We're going to multiply them all together. 2 
times 2 times 3 times 3. And this is supposed to equal our original number down here that we started with, 36. Now, this is our answer. 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 is equal to 36. But we can simplify it just a little bit. 2 times 2, right? Right here. I can also rewrite this as 2 squared, right? 2 times 2 is the same thing as 2 squared. And then we're going to multiply that by this other double number, 3 times 3, because 3 times 3, I can write that as 3 squared. And then again, this is equal to 36. So this answer right here in the middle is correct, but a more simplified version of it would be this answer down here. 2 squared times 3 squared is equal to 36. Okay, so not too bad, right? But let's try one more example. Okay, so let's say I wanted to find the prime factors of 120. So 120 is our composite number that we're starting with, right? So all I'm going to do is draw a step on it. And then you're going to ask yourself, self, what is the smallest prime number that fits into 120 evenly? And just as a reminder, here is your list of prime numbers. It's always good to write these out when you're doing the ladder method. Okay, so the smallest prime number that will divide evenly into 120 will be the number 2. Okay, so we're going to put a 2 right here, and we're going to circle it. And how did I know 120 is divisible by 2? Well, because 120 is an even number, right? And 2 divides into every single even number. Okay, so now the next step is figuring out how many times 2 fits into 120. And that would be 60 times. So now, is 60 a prime number or composite number? Well, 60 is a composite number. So I'm going to draw a step on it. Now you're going to ask yourself, self, what's the smallest prime number I can fit into 60? Well, again, 60 is an even number. So 2 fits into 60. Okay, and we're going to circle it. Okay, and how many times does 2 fit into 60? 2 goes into 60 30 times. Okay, so is 30 a prime or composite number? 30 is a composite number. So we're going to draw a step on it again. And then you're going to ask yourself, self, what's the smallest number that fits into 30 evenly? And again, 30 is an even number. So 2 fits into 30. Okay, and then 2 goes into 30 15 times, right? Now, is 15 prime or composite? Well, 15 is a composite number. So again, we're going to draw a step on it. And you're going to ask yourself, self, what's the smallest prime number that divides evenly into 15? Well, 15 is an odd number, so 2 is not going to work. What about 3? Does 3 fit into 15 evenly? Yes, it does. Okay, great. How many times does 3 fit into 15? 5 times. Now, is 5 a prime or composite number? 5 is a prime number, right? So we finally got a prime number on top, so we're going to circle it, and we're done. So what are the prime factors of 120? 2, 2, 2, 3, and 5. Okay? And I'm going to multiply those out here. So I'm going to do 2, times 2, times 2, and then times 3, and then times 5. And this is going to equal our original composite number, 120. All right, so this is our answer, but we can simplify it a little bit because we have some repeating numbers again, because we have 2 times 2 times 2. So I can simplify this part and rewrite it as 2 cubed, right? And then I'll bring down the rest of my answer. Times 3 times 5 is equal to 120. Okay, so 2 cubed times 3 times 5 is equal to 120. Alright guys, so that's how you perform the ladder method. I hope the video was helpful. If it was, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. It's always appreciated. And if you still got any questions, leave them in the comment section below. And I'll do my best to try and help you out. There's a whole pre-algebra playlist attached at the end of the video, so if there's any other topics you need help with or want to check out, definitely check them out. 
and I'll see you there.